Hey guys, what's up? It's Snoop77 here. Welcome back to our Feed the Beast Infinity World, picking up not too long after we left off uh, from last time. Um, so I wanted to apologize first and foremost, guys. Um, I recorded a previous episode, um, you know, doing a couple things around here, mostly involving Thomcraft, uh, but there were some issues with my microphone setup, and so I essentially got an entire episode with no sound. Um, I think I might do like a quick little fast motion at the very end, just to show kind of what's going on. So, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. So, um, I guess I'll go ahead and do a brief little recap. Uh, I did a little decoration around the the town. Um, I got uh, I got some signs set up like around, out front of the smeltery building and also in front of the um, the kitchen. As you can see, I kind of added in a couple of extra little bits here and there uh, from Deco Craft. Pretty fun. Um, I also made more Nitor and decorated the Thom Tower. The Thom Tower. I got it all set up. Um, Deco Craft goodies around here. I got an infinite water source, a water barrel from Pan's Harvest Craft with a bucket, so I can keep this uh, crucible nice and full. Potion racks for when I set up um, a potion rig, and I'll be doing that probably uh, probably in here, put a brewing stand or something like that. Um, did a little decoration around the, so the nitor up top here. Give it glowstone glass covers, so it provides light and looks kind of cool. And also did research and developed an arcane crafting terminal. And I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, that is found in the Energistics tab here. Uh, an arcane crafting terminal lets me use a regular crafting terminal with an arcane work table. And uh, this looks just like this. It requires 10 of each essence. Go ahead and, and then it will let you mix a any terminal, a working work table, and a calculation processor to make an arcane crafting terminal. And in it, you essentially take your wand, you place it on the top right here. You can then make any kind of um, construction in here. For example, if I do a, um, uh, what is this thing, another th thermometer, I can do this and then shift, and let me pop it in there and then pull it right out. So I have a second one. And I'll eventually need a second one because I want to do some more stuff later on. Um, so there's a couple of things I wanted to do today. The first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get some technology done. Um, I'm coming across a little bit of a power problem when it comes to the uh, the big reactor. Uh, it's running pretty, it runs through power pretty quickly. It actually burns uh, pretty wastefully, I guess you could say. It just pours through Eolorium, and I've been mining more and trying to get more. Um, as you can see in here, I got about 62 ingots here, but I've been constantly digging more up. So I wanted to uh, go ahead and enhance that. Um, I think I have enough Ender Pearls. Um, ender, I have about three pearls in, not, not Ender Pearls, how did I get? There we go. So I got five pearls worth of uh, Ender Pearls, which isn't a whole lot, but I'll be able to use that to make it, to start making some more coolant. And to get there, I want to make a magma crucible and a fluid transposer. Um, on the tech side of things, I, oh, sorry about that. I kind of want to get into th enhancing my thaumaturgy stuff. So I wanted to get this great wood wand core and also this gold wand caps uh, researched and taken care of. Um, just so I know, um, so I can get a better wand because this iron wand this thing, as you can see, it costs 110% normal V in order to actually do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's get started on that first and foremost. So get my scribing tools. Go in here. Get some paper. Whoop. One thing about the arcane crafting terminal is that it does not automatically put your cursor into the top search bar. So let's go ahead and do a uh, great old wand core first. And then we'll also grab wand caps. Okay. Let's put our tools in here and wand core. Now, I need arbor to magic. So to magic, I require potentia and has potentia and ordo. Void. Now what is okay. Okay. So if I do this. I do void and I do void to there 
and then I do air here, that links and forms a connection. Okay, now to go to here, let's see, take the connection that is, uh, there we go, order, potentia, fire, potentia. And there's the connection, Greatwood Wand Core. Now, Greatwood Wand Core is now research completed. Let's go ahead and pop this one in here. So this is going to be our gold wand caps. <coughs> Humanus. Take Humanus. Humanus. Okay. Now, Humanus gives you cognition and map, read. What is Cognitia? Hmm, this could be tough. I wonder if, if I can if I can do oh I know. It's easy. Pow! Just like that. There's the connection. Okay, now metallum. Metallum is easy. That is earth and crystal. Uh this Okay, so we got Earth. What is Bestia? Victus. What is that? And then go Bestia. And then Humanus. Connection, correct. Awesome. It's always tough to get research done, but you gotta connect the dots. Okay, so Greatwood Wand Core requires uh, three Perdicio, two Greatwood Logs like that to make Greatwood Rod. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Greatwood. Connect, connect. Okay, so that requires 3.3, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and get that. So we have great wood wand. Let's get rid of that. So we have 10.7 left. Okay, now we need our caps. All right. Gold iron caps, uh, three ordo, three ignis, and three air with five gold nuggets. Uh, nugget. One, two, three, four. I need two caps. Now I believe. Greatwood, wand, cap and cap. Uh, I need more air, fire, and ordo. Okay, I believe that I have one nearby. So not here. Oh, who's firing at me? What's up? What? Where is that? Oh, in here. Okay, so pull a bunch of air in as much as I can. Um, where's another node? Not too far from me. I'm gonna find that. It should have fire in it. At least a little bit of fire in it. If not, I'll be very depressed. I will actually go to the. Oh, it's air and water. Well, it'll be good to fill my water up at least. I sworn. Well, I'll just have to go find some on my own time then. But at least I have the Great Wood Wand ready to go. I just need to get the, the resources for it. So now, uh, you know, what? Y you again? Oh gosh. Okay, that's what I'm, s I'm taking a nap. Let's take a nap with my blanket. that. Okay, on the tech side of things. Wow, I'm really slow. Awesome. On the tech side of things, um, 
So I put the, my nether my dynamo back in here so I can get have more generative power. Uh, in the nether, I set up an ender uh, ender pump, or rather regular a regular pump, uh, next to a uh, next to a big lava lake so I can get a lot of that. And I also set up this igneous extruder so I can manufacture a bunch of obsidian, um, which I have 3,310 of it. Um, in addition, there's also the cyanide free processor. You pop in cyanite ingots, and it'll translate it into plutonium. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you. You do this. Uh, cyanide is the waste product from um, uh, processing gallorium in a reactor. And it's used in making, uh, it's basically made, used to make turbines. But if you use your cyanide your processor, you can make a plutonium ingot, which works like gallorium. It's essentially another kind of fuel. So I can do that. That's pretty easy peasy to go. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to put some decorations up a little more. Um, I think I have an idea of what I can put up there. Let's do this. I want to do a sign. A deco craft sign. Ooh, ooh. fan designs, nice. Signal flares. No, I want this. Here we go. Uh, apothecary bank, blacksmith bombs, butcher canning, fish flower in magic. Here we go. Let's go ahead and grab a magic sign. That'd be kind of nice. Now let's go hang it up and see what it looks like. I kind of want to do. Like science for pretty much everything. That'd be kind of cool, don't you think? Uh, maybe you just maybe a little lower. There we go. As you can see, hey, this is the magic shop. Bunch of magic, and there you go. Another one, though, that I want to take a look at. Um, so, chisel. Let's you make this sign. Make a regular sign. And do chisel a warning sign. Huh. So we got a re our chisel sign here. Let's go ahead and do chisel up a little bit. Get this. I want to put a sign at the power station. And also maybe here too. So let's do chisel. Warning sign. Uh, we want radiation biohazard falling on GS danger falling into the next warning. Hmm. Let's do let's do no entry. That'll be kind of cool. Mobs don't come in here. Don't mess with us, guys. <laughs> There's no entry. We're crazy in here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do this, I think. Oh. Pop it on maximum. There we go. A couple of no entry warning signs there. And then I. it's obvious what I'm going to put in here. I mean, if you don't know what I'm going to put in here by now, then I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't know. This is, after all, the reactor room. So obviously, you need a great big radiation sign. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be nice. Okay, so not bad. Not too bad, not too bad. And there's Luna saying hi. Um, so, oh, so now let's go ahead and get to, uh, get to making things we need. So, what I need is I need a magma crucible here. Uh, let us get a regular machine frame, so I'll get an energy frame first. I need redstone. Hi, Luna. So, let's make a redstone block, and a couple of those just in case. Magma crucible requires... Nether brick? Do you have nether brick? I have two nether brick. Perfect. Basic machine frame. There we go. I'll need two of these because I'll make one for the food transport as well. There's an invar gear, so we'll make a couple of those. Okay. I think I have plenty of redstone reception coils, so let's do this. Oop. 
energy cell frame. There we go. And crystal basic. Okay. Now I also need a fluid transposer. And I think I have the copper gears. I'll make a couple more just in case. And let's do that. Perfect. So that was pretty easy, but you know, it's getting um it's getting kind of cluttered in here. Um, I'll put the magma crucible there and the fluid transposer there. So let us hook up the configuration. I want this to be the input. And this to be the output. So put things in the fluid magma crucible here. It'll automatically shunt it over into the fluid transposer. Transposer will take whatever is inside of it and put it in there. But you know what? Maybe we should think about what to make out here. I moved out and separated the animals. So we have a chicken pen, pig pen, um, and a sheep pen. We have a lot more space. And I wonder... Should I put a factory here? What do you guys think? I was, uh, maybe I can hook up... So I'll hook up the, the power supply from the reactor here. Out to this area here. I'll have a big old factory where I can have all of my um, Ender IO and um, thermal expansion uh, mod stuff for making things, the pulverizers and the, the slice and splice and all that jazz. All that can be put out there nice and easy to go. I could free up this area here just for power generation. So I'll probably leave the cyanide processor here, but this will be moved, this will be moved, all this will be moved, and all will be left is just the, uh, the reactor and everything that's going. Um, and then, let me think. Hmm. We got this going too. That would be nice. I can make this bigger. I need to make the house bigger. That's right. That's another thing I need to do. Make the house bigger and build it up. I'm thinking a two story and I can give it a new sign. Oh, oh, that's right, I can give it a sign. Let's make a sign in preparation just for that case. I don't want to do this right now. Uh, sign, I want to make, what is it, an inn, an inn sign with deco craft clay. So when we put it down, it'll look like that. Kind of a sleepy, sleepy town tavern inn. That'd be kind of cool. So we'll put that up there. Oh, so many plans. Planning all the things. Oh man, I got I gotta write Oh, right. Huh. I mean, hey, I need I need to write this all down. Duh. So let's end with taking stock of what we can do. So back to our main list. We still want to find some friends, and I think I know where I can get some. Um, there's the NPC village over here. I can go and grab a couple of villagers. I'll, I'll um, gently persuade them to join me. Um, I also went exploring down here. There's an oil fountain there, but more importantly, there's another NPC village here, which I could go ahead and take a visit to. Um, and additionally, there's also an NPC village here and an NPC village here. And also up here as well. So I could go to give them a visit, maybe bring a couple, along a couple of golden lassos or make some stuff. And then, what is this? Our little town. We need a name. We need a name for it. That'll be good. So, uh, I'm gonna give some friends. That'll be kind of nice. So also we want to make a um, mechanical factory. And also, what else do we want to do? Oh, I need to recharge wand. Recharge wand. And make great wood wand. Now, one of the things I asked in the in the video that didn't get recorded is um, er, there's a lot of different information to go through and different areas to research when it comes to Thaumcraft. And, you know, there's a lot of places I can look into and the things I can check out. Um, what I wanted to ask you guys is, what do you guys want me to look into specifically for Thawncraft? Do you want me to go into Artifice and start getting into like the Essentia stuff and making a bunch of crazy things? 
or do you want me to get more into that golemancy so I can have golems running around? Um, you want to go into Thaumic Tinkering and kind of explore this whole thing uh, where it mixes Thawncraft uh, and uh, Tinker's Construct. Uh, do you want me to go into bees? I mean, that's not too bad. I, mean, I already got an apiary here. It's a Pan's Harvest Craft apiary, but oh, look. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Well, here, keep this. Make some royal jelly. Mix with the bee grub. New queen bee. There we go. Back you go. Stupid little bugger. Um. So yeah, so you know, I think there's a lot of things I can go into. So go ahead and let me know. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and uh, I'll see what I can do to look into it. Be kind of fun. You know, Thawncraft is a pretty big mod, and I would love to have a little bit of direction from you guys. That would really help me out quite a bit. Um, so I think for now we're gonna go ahead and pause for here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for you know coming and taking a look and seeing what I've got going. Um, I know it wasn't a whole lot of stuff being done, uh, but there's a lot of planning in the in the process and a lot of uh, expansion feature kitchen to go through. Um, I know when you guys have mentioned that there was that eventually we can look into making a city, basically a little town by the time we're well we reach a good point in the in the series. And I'm really looking forward to that. I think that would be crazy cool to have like full on town sprawling metropolis i guess you could say um that we've made together it'd be kind of cool um so yeah if you're new to my channel go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here go ahead and click click the like button if there's anything you thought i missed or anything you'd like to see specifically uh leave a comment in the comment section down below uh once again go ahead and let me know if you want me to delve into a deal deeper into something in Thawcraft, and i'll totally go for it or you know just anything really you want to go you know go exploring a little more or uh, go find, you know, some more uh, Quincy Cult guys to, be to beat up. You know, then I got a pretty, pretty awesome slime shot here. Uh, totally took it down. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys again once again for joining me, and uh, I will see you all later. Bye.